Hello, I'm Donovan Whitley, and welcome back to another episode of, uh, review, movie reviews, I guess you could say. Um, today I'll be reviewing Stephen King's It. Now, this never came out in theaters, but this is, for some reason, this is one of the best-selling horror movies ever made. Um, even though, uh, yeah, well... It's based off of the book by Stephen King, It. Um, I think uh, whoever directed this was pretty accurate to the book. Um, even though no, no deaths actually happen in this movie, it's just Pennywise. It just does I, all these guys here. They have flashbacks of when they were kids and of when Pennywise would torture them. And... Uh, but he never killed anybody that I know of. Um, this is a three-hour movie. Um, I think it's on two discs. Let me check real quick. It's pretty, no, it's, I think it's one side. I don't remember. Uh, anyways. So that's... Penny. Okay. And, uh, here's three guys, forgot their names. You're every fear, all in one deadly enemy. Pretty much. Um, this is it. Like I said, this is three hours long. It's not a theatrical release movie. Um, yeah, side A has 27 scenes. Side B has 26 scenes. Uh, that's the whole movie. So, just add 27 plus 26. Yeah, that's... A pretty long movie, if you ask me. Um, now this first one uh, does. This first side doesn't have that much going on. Side B is the ending, and it's weird because at the end he's like the spider. He's like they defeat him as like his final form as a spider. Um, a really really big spider. That's kind of how the movie goes. Is he just tortures them and it does flashbacks? Um, so all this really is is the kids growing up just having flashbacks of when they were kids and when Pennywise would uh, torture them. And it turns out Pennywise is still alive. And they decide to go find him and kill him before he tortures any more other pe any other people. So. Uh, uh, my opinion of this movie is it's really good. Uh, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. Um, I would definitely pick this up at a store or if you're that picky or finicky, I would rent it first and then decide to buy it. Um, like I said, uh, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Recommend picking it up. Great movie. Uh, um, <laughs> great comment and subscribe. There will be more reviews coming at you.